could you tell us a little bit about what your reaction was when you heard the troubles that Ravi Zacharias is facing in after his death and the whole scandal and how has that affected you and what do you think about it? I had uh, listened to Ravi Zacharias regularly uh, and learned so much from him. Uh, I felt he was a very, very anointed man of God, sharing his life, his experiences, um, and had a real love for the lost, uh, and would stop at nothing to reach out to the lost. In fact, that is mainly who he did reach out to, uh, the unbelievers, the the atheists, who, uh, young people, thousands and tens of thousands of college students, loved his family, spoke of his, his wife, his children, his grandchildren, particularly one he mentioned so often, five-year-old Jude. He just loved him so much. And um, of course, when I did, I heard about uh, the scandal. Of course, my first reaction was, oh, I don't know if I believe it, because I've heard of a lot of scandals that weren't true. And I know that they have been proven to be true. Uh, and um, basically, that still didn't negate all the good that that man did, the good fruit even. I was sad for his family and all those. It must have been very, very, very difficult for them. But um, when these accusers were doing it in, not, in, in, in hatred, almost, in ire, um, I just felt like saying, he that is without sin, let him cast the first stone. That was the first thing that came to me when I uh, heard some of those accusations. And uh, all men are men, of, uh, even men of force, they're men of faults, and we're all sinners. Every single one of us, every single last one. We were all sinners, and who are we to judge? Let God be the judge. We are not to judge. That's not our business. That's not our job. And um, I, I, it, it's, it's interesting because the night that he went home, to his heavenly reward, I had a very vivid dream uh, of, of his home going. And I um, didn't see exactly see him directly, uh, but I did see, I somehow was transported in the spirit to a place that seemed like India with people on people um it was actually in a like a hotel i think like a, a hotel and um and I, and i i found these it, the reason i say it was a, a layer i think it was like a layer of heaven it seemed like a, about the maybe the third heaven because everything was surreal the the marble <laughs> was so luminous and and it, it, uh, it anyway it was just beautiful so I, I was led down this hallway and I saw a group of they were very young Indian children and they were they had these trays banquet on their way to a banquet and they, they were on their way to a banquet and um, you know a few other things that showed me that it was heaven because the the beautiful uh, setting and everything was not earthly <laughs> and but but um then i woke up that morning went to my computer and the, the first thing i saw was how he had gone to be with jesus maybe just three hours before i woke up or something like that very very close to that time and so i was so happy for him that he went to his heavenly reward because he had suffered so much that's a that's another subject too he suffered very 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 much but he still put the lost first in spite of all of his pain he he put the lost souls first